Okay, so it says the formula for the volume of this right circular cylinder is this. And then they're asking us if R is equal to 2B and H is equal to 5B plus 3, what is the volume of the cylinder in terms of B? So they want us to just write the equation V equals pi R squared H. And for R, they want us to write 2B. So V equals pi. Instead of writing R, I'm going to write 2B squared. And then instead of writing H, they want us to write 5B plus 3. So let's go ahead and let's try to solve this. So we're going to leave the pi out here. The 2B is going to be squared. So 2 squared is 4. B squared is B squared. And then we're going to bring down the 5B plus 3. So now we're going to take this whole value and we're going to distribute to the 5B and we're going to distribute to the 3. What that means is we're going to multiply that whole value by 5B and then we're going to multiply that whole value by 3. So we're going to multiply the numbers. 4 times 5 is 20. And then we're going to keep the pi by itself because there's something to multiply it against. And then we're going to multiply B squared times B. So B squared times B. Remember, when you're multiplying variables, you just add the exponents when they have the same base. They have the same base of B, so we would just do B 2 plus 1. So it would be to the third power. So it would be B to the third power. So we multiplied everything by 5B. Now we're going to multiply everything by 3. So again, we're going to start with 4 times 3, which is 12. There's not to, nothing to multiply the pi again, so we're going to bring the pi down. And there's nothing to multiply the b squared again, so we're going to bring the b squared down. So we're going to have b is equal to 20 pi b to the third power plus 12 pi b to the second power. And so that is going to be equal to b. So just don't forget that when there is nothing to multiply something against, you just bring it down into the term, and then you go ahead and make sure that you don't combine anything that's not a variable, that's a like term. So the answer is going to be B. I know this problem looks complicated, but it doesn't have to be.